sixth fighter is Andre S.O.G. Ward, who is unfortunately unable to attend this afternoon. He is the only one of our boxers to have captured gold in the Olympic Games from Oakland, California. His record 19-0 with 12 knockouts. He is the undefeated WBC number one super middleweight contender. It is Andre Ward. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Super Six World Boxing Classic, the Super Middleweights. Great, great world champions here in attendance. And with these uh, outstanding and, and world-renowned promoters here and you are press, we would be remiss if we didn't pause for a moment to recognize the passing of someone who is a, a dear friend to many of us, someone we all respected very much, gave us many, many thrills in the boxing ring. Of course, I'm speaking of the tragic death of Arturo Gatti, the two-time world champion. At this time, we would like all of our boxers, our promoters, and everyone here to please remain silent for a moment of silence as we remember our dear friend, Arturo Gatti. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. And like our boxers and promoters, we ask you to rise. Excuse me, I cannot really speak English. I'm a little bit. I'm very happy. I am here in New York and for this tournament. And I am here. I want here boxing. I want boxing in Madison Square Garden. And I won't win. May I can I not talk? And thank you. I'm here. I'm here. I'm very happy. I'm here to win. I'm here to win. So he came here to win. 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 He Now, I just want to uh, thank God and honestly, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for putting me in this position. Um, right now, my heart is beating at 100 miles per hour. I'm nervous as hell. I'm nervous as everything. But not because this is one of my, the biggest stage of my career. Not because this is going to be the best fight I've ever faced. Or, not, uh, not because this is going to be the hardest tournament I've ever fought. It's because I know that I'm in a blessed position and in a position to be the greatest of all time. I know come October, I will become the WBC world champion and it will not end there. I will become the WBA world champion as well and I will become the undisputed champion of the world. I love this opportunity that I, that's given to me as a Presented to me, I want to thank Gary Shaw, Adam Hayman, the three Europeans, uh, and my, and especially my grandfather. You know, without him, I would, I ain't gonna tell him where I would be. So, thank you. You know, so uh, I'm just, I'm just ecstatic right now. I'm happy. I can't wait. When I walked out of that curtain, I got this tingling feeling in my body, just like I did when I was walking out for every fight in the Olympic Games, and that was the biggest stage in my career. So I just know that it's my time. I know it's time for me to shine, and I know I'm going to take this opportunity to run with it. And I, I, I'm just prepared. So I hope everybody else is as well, and I hope I receive all your blessings. Thank you. I'm just pull it up and give, give the fight fans a great tournament. And um, Ken Hirschman for having the, the vision and the foresight to, to put some artists together and pull it off. Um, a big thanks and congratulations to Ken Hirschman for that and Showtime Television. Um, it's nice to hear off Gary Shaw that the, um, the WBC have been in touch and, and basically announced that every fight that I've partaken will be a defence of the WBC title or the WBC will not um, hold me up in this tournament. The WBC belt means so much to me. Since turning professional, I um, only ever wanted to win the, the green belt 
um, the most prestigious belt in world boxing as far as I'm concerned. And it's nice to, to hear Gary Shaw read that email out because that keeps things very simple for me. In terms of competing in the tournament and not having any hiccups or any, any problems on the way, political problems. So, um, big thanks to WBC for that, for getting behind this tournament. And um, I will remain WBC champion throughout the duration of this tournament, regardless of what any, any other fighter thinks. I'm in this tournament because I've earned my place in this tournament. 25 and 0, 20 KOs, WBC number one. UBC defended it against a great fighter, Jermaine Taylor, in a humdinger in Connecticut. Um, there's a couple of fighters coming through that think they deserve to be in the tournament, and I suppose they do. The Olympians have done well. All the fighters that are in this tournament deserve to be in here. But you've got to look at the champions. Mikel Kessler and myself are bringing our world titles to the uh, tournament. And we mean business and we're taking this very seriously, as I'm sure all the fighters are. But you know, that when you're a world champion, You've got that extra edge inside your heart and your mind and your soul. And every fight is, um, is a defining fight for me. And um, I'm going to show everybody why, why I'm world champion, why I'm WBC champion. By beating everybody who comes in front of me. Um, thanks very much for attending. Thanks to Showtime. Thanks to Mick Henson. For this opportunity, because uh, I was uh, WBC, like Carl Floyd says, now he has my belt, <coughs> uh, and, and WBA as I am now, as I lost to uh, Kaisaki. So this tournament is a big, uh, big opportunity for me to to have to test myself of being the real world champion here, and uh, and have the greatest fights in the world. Because I'm, I never thought this tournament could could happen. When I heard about it uh, in the start. I thought, well, um, this is never going to happen. But uh, then uh, Kelly called me and said, you want to be in the tournament? And of course, I would. But uh, of course, it's nice to see uh, so many people, um, uh, so, many, so, so many people yesterday. Uh, and I want to say uh, in Europe, in Denmark, uh, in all of Europe, they're looking forward, forward to this tournament. My phone has been uh, ringing all the time for friends and what's going to happen? What, what is next, when you're going to fight. Um, so uh, it's a big opportunity for me and all the fighters uh, for this tournament. So uh, a big thank you again, and uh, may the best man win. Thank you, everybody. Um, we thank Showtime, first of all, for this whole thing together. I know it's hard, man, and they, they did it. Um, it happened so fast. And so I was, I was actually on my boat at my lake house, and man, it was just, I'm riding on the boat, I got, I got a telephone call from my coach. I was like, man, um, I think they put something together at Showtime. You have to go to New York tomorrow and go to Germany. And everywhere, it's just, I was like, man, are you serious? You know, but um, I'm talking about it, just, just happened like that, but uh, I'm blessed. You know, um, I, I was sitting at home, I was wondering what was going on. You know, uh, who, who am I going to fight next year? Here I'm coming off a loss. Um, I was that close to winning the fight. And I, I just feel like I, I made a lot of mistakes in my career. You know, every fight that I lost, I should have won. And, and I'm not going to make any excuses. I lost my loss. But I'm going to take it back to the drawing board. We dedicate everything to, my, to boxing. And just, just try it again. I want to thank everybody, all my fans. And thank you, Al Haven. Just put this together, you'll never let me down. Appreciate you. And man, um, everybody up here, good luck. You made the best man win.